positive things continue to emerge during this health crisis. One is the act of giving, so many people helping others. And one Pacific Northwest native started a very successful giving campaign with a simple Facebook post. It's called IntelliHealth, and I spoke with the man behind the movement. Ron Lynch, how are you doing today? Good, Guard, good to see you. IntelliHealth, tell people how it actually works. So IntelliHealth's really quite simple. Right now it's a Facebook group that you can join in the United States and people who are in need of grocery items or emergency medical by medical I mean over the counter type stuff uh, can put a list of 10 things there every week a giver comes along and responds to that ask and says I'd like to help that person out and they personally fulfill that uh, wish list and they do it by by Amazon or Instacart or sometimes they go to the store themselves Ron, who was born and raised in Seattle, but now lives in Texas, started in telehealth worrying about his elderly parents in Bellevue when the coronavirus invaded the Northwest. It was a, certainly a, a personal belief that I had that turned into, um, I guess, a, a kind of a philanthropic model. In just a few months, IntelliHelp is now pushing 100,000 members worldwide. It's funded organically through donations from a single person to large companies, it's all about giving. Our typical IntelliHelp asker is a single mom with multiple children. We'll be asking for things like nutrition for her kids, diapers, formula, um, snacks and meals for her kids. And someone will step in and go, hey, I'm in, I'm in Dallas, Texas, and there's a lady in Fort, Fort, Fort Lauderdale, and I'll find a store near her. They, they text each other to get a location, and it can either be she can go pick it up, it can be dropped off at the door. 85% of the deliveries are dropped off by carriers like Amazon, the rest by volunteers. One of those friends volunteering is Annie Tunnell in North Seattle. For 40 years, she ran a catering business, providing delicious food for luxurious parties. But after losing her business a few months ago, Annie now spends most of her time helping feed people globally. Every day, Annie spends hours scrolling the IntelliHelp site. The asking never slows. This woman submitted a post um, from Simpsonville, South Carolina. And she says, hi, I'm a family of four, two adults and two kids. We are struggling bad on food, there is nothing. So this is a very typical story. The stories are endless and all are emotional. So what the asker is doing is they're really giving a gift to someone. Because when you ask and you allow yourself to be open to receive, then you're letting someone have that feeling of, wow, it feels so good to help someone. You know, that feeling. And so um, oh, I get emotional talking about it a little bit, but I always tell the askers that they're doing service. You are getting emotional. I am, I know, it's crazy. And I'm actually really proud of the people that ask for help because it's a very hard thing to ask for help. Um, it's kind of a pride swallowing thing for some people. And so there's not a person inside the system as a giver, an asker, or a volunteer that doesn't kind of warm my heart. Ron says IntelliHelp has facilitated about $1 million in the food exchange, and he expects IntelliHelp to grow to 15 million members. Seattle Refined is just getting started.